Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm outside uh, doing a project, uh, doing demolition on my front deck, and I find I've been, you know, pretty much getting eaten alive. So what I figured I'd do is I'd come inside and uh, before I continue on my demolition uh, derby here, uh, I'm going to put together some uh, bug repellent uh, to help keep away mosquitoes because I'm getting swarmed. This is part of my arsenal. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bug spray that will help deter uh, mosquitoes in particular. Because uh, like I said, I'm getting eaten alive out there uh, trying to cut uh, the deck boards. So what I've got here is witch hazel, uh, a little bit of glycerin. I'll need some uh, water. I've got lavender essential oil, peppermint essential oil, and lemongrass. Okay, so... Like I said, I'm going to make a, a bug spray that will help me get rid of uh, any type of mosquitoes that happen to get in my way and keep buzzing around me. So hopefully this will work. Uh, I've never tried a, a home remedy uh, natural uh, bug spray before, but I mean, I've got to try something, cause I, but I don't want to use the DEET or anything like that. So what I have to do is... Um, Take these ingredients and mix it in these uh, these quick, ready-to-use bottles. Uh, you can pick these up for like, you know, dollar fifty or two dollars or even less than that at your local dollar store, and that's what I've got here. So what I need to do first is I need to take uh, some rubbing alcohol or vodka, whatever it is that you uh, choose to use. I'm using rubbing alcohol, and I'm doing a half a tablespoon of rubbing alcohol, and I'm just pouring that in the bottle and then I'm going to take my lavender essential oil and I'm going to put uh, about 10 drops in here I'm also going to do the same 10 drops of uh, lemongrass essential oil And I'm going to take 10 drops, or 5 drops actually, of the peppermint oil. And I'm going to give that a little bit of a shake. Okay. I'm going to take half a cup, or quarter of a cup, of witch hazel. Now this one is the non-alcoholic one. So it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty darn safe. And I should get my funnel here. It's a big funnel. I don't know where my smaller one is. So I'm going to add a quarter of a cup in here, plus a quarter cup of distilled water. Okay, so my distilled water is in here. I'm going to put the lid on here, give it a quick shake and then I'll be adding my glycerin. Now this recipe comes off the uh, Wellness Mama uh, website, uh, but the, the blend is uh, my own blend. Uh, I didn't uh, particularly care for the blends that she had, uh, so I decided to give this a, a bit of a mix and uh, use, uh, use just a regular blend of my own. Mm, it actually smells very good. Okay, so what I need here is a half a teaspoon. Now, this is a half recipe so that it's it's fitting my, uh, my little jar here, or my uh, container here. So this is going to be a half a teaspoon of glycerin. And I can't find my half teaspoon, so measuring spoon. So what I'm doing is this is a quarter. I'm just doing half a teaspoon here. Put that in, put it back on, give it a good mix. Now, hopefully, what you're going to do, hopefully this is going to actually work, 
Um, what I'll do is I'll spray myself and my clothes uh, to see uh, whether or not uh, it actually works. And I'm going outside to finish off chopping up and demolishing part of my deck. So we'll see if it works and I'll let you know. Well, everyone, the verdict is in. It uh, didn't completely uh, get, uh, like, scare away any, uh, all of the mosquitoes, but it sure helped cut down the amount of uh, swatting I did while I was doing the deck. So, um, yeah, I'd give this a, a thumbs up uh, for um, use uh, in the backyard or uh, around your house when mosquitoes are really bad. Just go and whip yourself up a batch. Totally recommend it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one.